Well, hello, everybody. I'm sorry, we're a little late here uh, because I had some problems with uh, Zoom, but I seem to be okay now. I hope I'm okay now. Uh, yeah, we're recording. We're live out there on Zoom. Let me just make sure we're live on Zoom. Uh, I was just, I was taking my weekly shower <laughs> and I take you the shower and I was, uh, uh, let me see here. Where are we? I just want to see if we're, if we've got, uh, uh, we're going out on Facebook or not. Hold on a moment, folks. But anyway, I had trouble signing in. Uh, I signed in and it, it, went, it kept in. It was strange what, what went on. But anyway, I should be okay now. Hello, everybody. Oh, there are a whole bunch of people here. I better get to them or they're going to get really mad at me. Yeah. Let me see here. Where we go? Uh, let's see here. Admit all. Okay, here we go. Uh, there's uh, there's uh, Jeff and there's uh, Steve and there's Edward Berger. And That's right. Is Len Lefresco and there's Andrew Deutsch and there is Rick Sheckman. Hello, everybody. How are you today? Good. Good. Yeah, you're all right. Okay. Sorry, I'm a little late. Um, just, you know, a few little problems with Zoom, but I seem to be okay. Let's see. Jeff Stein, I have to sit, bring him in again. Okay. Admit. Okay. So I was just having some, some technical problems, uh, but uh, you'll have to blame Zoom for that. They just did an update today. Yeah. Oh, did they really? Yeah. Uh, maybe that's what it was trying to do or something. Yep. What kind of update? Did you know, notice what it they, was? Yeah, they added the ability to do something with webinars and access apps within Zoom. Oh, business. wonderful. Now what they'll do is they'll make Zoom so bloated with stuff that it will not work well. So, you know. Gets too bloated, nobody will date it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, there's uh, Shecky wearing his Detective Comics. I imagine that's Detective Comics number one, right? No, Batman didn't start until 27. Oh. And this is Detective Comics. I can't. I can't read which number. Usually, yeah. It's a later one. They don't put nipples uh, writing nicely on your nipples. So, you know. Number 164. 164. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, and Mar uh, Marjorie isn't here. I need her to get me a soda. I was late taking a shower today, and I was shower for you guys. <laughs> well, thank you. Well, no, it, it says to me when I do my show on Monday, time to take a shower. I changed my shirt. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, I'm... I'm not too big on showers or baths in this apartment because the, the water pressure is so terrible that you really got to want to take one. You know, Marjorie's got to say to me, you're starting to smell. <laughs> Plus, I don't go out that much, so I don't I don't really get that much dirt all over me. Uh, although I'm afraid to go out now. I'm getting afraid again. Last week, remember, remember the uh, the the. Uh, thing we have with the, the trial for the apartment and the settlement meeting and so on. Well, we're supposed to have a settlement meeting on Mon on Wednesday, on Friday. I'll get through the whole week and I'll finally get to the right day on Friday. And uh, uh, I we, we were supposed to go down to our lawyer's office and we we're going to do it from there, which was just wonderful. I think I love better than going down to my lawyer's office to do it from there. He said, get here a half hour early. And I went, yeah, how much is that? It's 200 bucks. Huh? If I get there a half hour early, anyway, <laughs> I'm supposed to go to the, to it. And I wake up in the morning. I set my alarm for nine o'clock. I tell Marjorie to wake me up at nine and she hasn't woken me up. So, of course, I wake up and I stagger out to the living room where she's there in her usual pose watching MSNBC. And uh, I said, you didn't wake me up. She says, didn't you get the note? Well, I'm sorry, I don't read my mail first thing waking up. Turns out that the lawyer for the apartment house who has been vaccinated got COVID. Oh, and is no. sick as a dog and won't be able to make it, which means we have to hold this thing off for a month because the judge takes all of August off. 
<laughs> Although I don't know that he's working that hard when he's there, but August off, okay? Uh, and I want to say nice things about the judge. Never know if he's going to be listening. Hi, judge. How are you? Uh, <laughs> did you hear who else? So today I'm I'm supposed to be talk to this guy who's doing a a documentary on public access in New York, and I'm helping him with it, and I'm I've granted to be a part of it, and so on and so forth. And so he calls me, and he says, uh, I say, he says, how's your week? I said, well, considering COVID's still out there, it was kind of dull. And he said, yeah, I'm living in a hotel. I said, what? He says, yeah, I'm living in a hotel. I said, why? He said, well, my girlfriend, who I'm engaged to, went to Europe and came back and tested positive for, uh, for the virus and then came down with it. And, of course, my next question was, was she vaccinated? And he says, absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's two people in one week who have, who have told me a story where somebody has COVID and has had the, uh, the shots. Can I add one more to your list that will really upset you greatly? It will, it will Lindsey Lindsey Graham. <laughs> Lindsey Graham's come down with it, but and he was but, vaccinated. Supposedly. He was, but but he came out and said, "Thank goodness I was vaccinated, or my symptoms would be far worse." I couldn't believe he said it. Wow, wow. We've gotten our third email in our building with the third person fully vaccinated who's gotten it. So it's happening a lot. Happening really, a lot. really. Do we know if they're all the Johnson people? All the ones I know had the Johnson vaccine. I got. Don't know. So is that the one they put in your penis? Yes. <laughs> yeah, they were going to call it the Tallywhacker, but uh, Tallywhacker vaccine, but they didn't think it would sell. Johnson vaccine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, anybody else here have a tale of somebody who got the shot and is okay? Well, so far so good. I'm wondering if I should get tested. I said, I'm around hundreds of softball players the last three weeks. And no masks, right? No, I haven't worn it yet, but I'm going to start wearing it this week. Yeah, I would uh, I would get tested just to be on the safe side, you know? I have no symptoms. Although, Well, you're outdoors. This is outdoors, so chances are not as bad outdoors as it would be if you were indoors. <laughs> Until they tell us outdoors is just as bad. So don't. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Then they'll tell us, you know, we suddenly decided this goddamn vaccine doesn't work. Everybody go back indoors. <laughs> My well, wife. it's working. People that have it are generally not as sick as the people. Or sick at all. Vaccine. That's not why I get a vaccine. It's yeah, but mostly not, not as sick. No, but most most people who who are dying and in the hospital have been have haven't been vaccinated, and. Being vaccinated means that the you won't have symptoms, or the symptoms are minor, or they're minor, or yeah, that's a minor. that's a good result. You know, I think they're a little less minor than people are saying. I mean, the people the people I know, my wife's boss, you know, she was knocked out for two weeks, fully vaccinated with Moderna, um, and it was a bad a bad two week, you know, kind of flu thing, hacking and fever and losing taste and you know everything. Well. Um, you know, you're not going to die. You're not going to go to the hospital. I don't think, but it's not fun. You know. Well, I mean, we got it so that we wouldn't even get that much. Well, yeah. You know. Well, if everybody had gotten it, she probably wouldn't have gotten sick. True. Yeah. Well, I mean, the fact is, what we're suffering is from the people who didn't get the vaccine, yeah. and they made it difficult for the rest of us. And who knows what they're breeding now, what, what the next variant is going to be because of these idiots. Oh, it's, it, you know, it, 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 I think this particular thing will be around for years. Okay. Although, well, who was it? Was it somebody here on the show last week who said that the Spanish flu stopped in like a day? It just, one day it was there and the next day it wasn't. I don't remember that. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I, I would hope it would be nice if it happened with this one. But well, that's, I what, think... that's what Trump said was going to happen. It was just going to do yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. That's... Did you see that he built a phony White House on his golf course? No. What? Oh, yeah, he built a phony backdrop of the White House and had all of his former cabinet members come over the weekend for a big cabinet meeting. <laughs> God bless Do we have a man here who has serious mental problems? <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, it seems like there's serious mental problems. Yep. But apparently people are giving him $100 million, you yep. know. And by the way, don't forget, it's Shecky who mentioned Trump first on this show today. Uh, no, no <laughs> somebody that else means, did. That means he has to buy us all virtual cocktails. No, somebody <laughs> else mentioned him, and then I just took it up from there. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Who was it? I don't remember. It was right before I mentioned it. Yeah, well. That, for, a rare, for a rare case, it wasn't me this time. Oh, look. Tony is, has got light in back of him, so he can't see his face. Uh, here's, here's Trump's funny White House. I moved there. Well, mm -hmm. Tony went to a massive comic book convention, so he's probably as sick as a dog by now. <laughs> I wore a mask. Yeah. 400,000 people at Lollapalooza this weekend, too. Yes, with no, and they said they, could, they had to wear masks if they were indoors. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. So it's all these people in very close proximity to each other, which I think comes under the quali qualification of indoors mm. uh, it, uh, we're all very close to each other it's going to be a massive you watch i agree yeah. you watch what comes out of that well i told you i have these two conventions in the next couple of weeks and i don't think i'm going to either of them because one is going to have like two thousand people outside of baltimore and god knows who's going to be there vaccinated right. unvaccinated whatever you know yeah yeah I did you see the documentary, speaking of Lollapalooza, about Woodstock 99 and what really went on there that caught the whole place on fire? And I didn't I see it, but the, I read about it. I, I wasn't living in the U.S. when it happened. So all I saw was the end result, which was the Chili Peppers playing Jimi Hendrix while they, the kids burned the place down. <laughs> I had no idea what an absolute cluster F that whole thing was. It's really I interesting. It was, I, I don't even really remember I don't remember it. Of course, then again, I don't remember Woodstock, and I was there. I have an excuse, okay? It was it was incredible, just the violence and the craziness that went on at that supposed festival with the acts that they brought in and the way people behaved. I think I think children was, had light bulbs on their head that day. I was watching at home. They put like for like shock value or something like that. They covered their heads up. It was it was insane. Watch the documentary; it's fascinating. I, I, yeah. I missed the '90s because I wasn't in the country, but I'm kind of glad I wasn't here now. You know what I watched? I watched this thing Ronan Farrow did on Weinstein. Any good? It, based on podcasts he does or whatever. Uh, well, let me finish, Tony. Then you'll find out. So just, <laughs> just stay tuned to this very broadcast. I will reveal at the end of this whether I like it. <laughs> After the, after so, so he gets into the wine scene thing. he's got some women he interviews uh, people who were molested by him and so on and so forth and how he kind of broke the case and so on and it gets more into how he broke the case and then when you get to about episode five it's all about ronan farrow and and uh how he broke the case and how msnbc MS, or nbc didn't allow him to run the story and how he had to go to the how they threatened to sue and blah, 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 blah. And at the end, he's interviewing a guy who trailed him from Weinstein. And the whole thing becomes about Ronan Farrow. And, and it's, you're, you're it's a by piece that? of crap. Yeah. You know. Well, why does he do, he do one on his father, Frank? Is that his one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we're not going to say that Frank was his father because I really wouldn't want to besmirch Frank by saying that, you know. Uh, but it, it was raised by Mia, so you can say it. It was raised by Mia. Mama Mia. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it, but it, it, it really was a terrible thing. Um, and uh, wait a minute, hold on a second. I want to do something. I'm parched, okay, but I can't leave here. And Marjorie hasn't called the show yet. So let me try this. Echo, announce. What's the announcement? Marjorie, where the fuck are you? And can you get me a soda from the fridge? Alex, it'll take you one minute to go get the soda. Yeah, go, get, go get it. Go get the damn soda. We'll, we'll keep ourselves busy. Don't worry. About it. Did, did you see they now changed it? You now can call it besides the A and the Echo. You can now call it Ziggy. You can call it Ziggy, but you have to oh, reprogram really? it. Ziggy. You have to reprogram it, yeah. And it's a male voice. 
Oh. oh. Yes. It just just last week. It's they, they finally picked a name that my daughter, one of my daughter's names is Alyssa. Mm. And every time you call her name, the damn thing wants to answer you because it sounds yeah. like Alyssa. So that's what you should do. That's what we use here. Yeah. Then Marjorie has a friend by that name, Chinese. Named <laughs> but there's nothing more fun being in a business Zoom meeting and just yell out, Alexa, say, and then say something stupid. And you can hear it okay. come through 20 microphones. You, 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 yeah. my, my Alexa just turned on. Because oh, she brought me a Diet Coke. I haven't done it. Oh, really? Alexa. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> and you know what's funny? I always go over to my buddy's house <laughs> when he leaves the room. I, I put weird stuff on his shopping list. Hey Alexa, put, put dildos on his shopping list. And then, <laughs> I, I was in a meeting and yelled out, Alexa, play polka music. Okay, you're but not you gonna know, you know this, what it I, does I, just, I just added dildos to my own Alexa. Shit. It recognizes <laughs> me. That's kind of a dick move. But it, it doesn't recognize who is using. It does know. No, but no, it doesn't say, I'm sorry, I can't respond to you. You're not out. Oh, no, no, but but it knows me and my wife because it'll tell me, it'll say, Len, you know, have a nice evening, Len, or have a nice evening, Barb. So it knows who we are, which is Did interesting. you put both of your names into it? I, I don't remember ever doing that. I, I don't I don't know. She's, I don't getting, think... this, she's getting way too smart. I'm yeah. afraid. I'm afraid yeah. it's going to be like a Colossus, the Corbin project, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna take. And, and I got to figure out how to get dildos off my shopping list now. <laughs> you have to go buy them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The problem when you order one of those things, you end up with a, a Republican sent to your house. But you also keep getting. You also keep getting <laughs> messages. You also keep getting the messages. Uh, would you like to order your dildos again? <laughs> I'll probably come once a month. <laughs> Uh, uh, I just ooh, Marjorie, Marjorie, I, I clicked for Marjorie to come on, and then she did. Alex, can you imagine him picking an order for rice and roni, water, some books, and a pack of dildos? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you don't use dildos, Tony. Because mm -hmm. they don't, I, I just get my rice and roni once a month. They, I, you you only things. buy them one at a time. <laughs> It's called Oscar Mayer hot dogs. If they're on sale, two for four dollars. Like I, I, I buy them for all the women I've known in my lifetime, and just to see how long it took for them to wear them out. Or the next time they went to Alexa and said, "Alexa, uh, order batteries." <laughs> At the beginning of COVID, there was when Amazon workers were all pissed off. There was there was an Amazon worker saying, I can't believe they're not paying me hazard pay and I'm working 12 hours and we're packing dildos for people. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm risking my life for your dildo and I can't get paid. <laughs> my, my, my Alexa is asking me what kind of fucking batteries I want. <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> well, Alex wants it. So I'll order it for him. Marjorie, have you told Alexi yet that you wanted to? What? Have you told Alexi yet you need batteries for your dildo? <laughs> <laughs> we highly recommend the rechargeables. But somebody was saying here, they, they went up to somebody's Alexa and they said, Alexa, order dildos. <laughs> Put dildos on the shopping list. That's what you do. You know. I wonder, I wonder, can you buy dildos on Amazon? <laughs> I bet you he sells everything. I mean, can't say I've ever searched for them. I, I'm sure you can order condoms. That I'm sure you can order. You can order dildos too. Oh, really? <laughs> we get the generic condoms for cheap fuckers. He's putting everybody out of business. I'll tell you that. Boy. So, our eyes are burning. Is your eyes burning today, dear? Yes. Yes, mine too. There's something in this it's apartment. It's an we... allergy. It's a bad allergy. But I went out and walked. I, my eyes weren't burning. Well, I went to the office and my eyes were burning. Really? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know, tell them what they did at your office. This is interesting. I've never heard of this, and I think this is a result of the pandemic. Because It is, but, but, but they, I think space. they started right about when the time the <clears throat> came. We're on the corner where, um, what's the foreign sports car? Uh well, there are a lot of them. Would you care to know? Audi? Ferrari is right on our corner. So it's, it's a 15 or 20 story building and they've got a couple stories under the ground. And right about when COVID started, and definitely during COVID, 
they made a two-tier gym, a full gym, full shower, full stretching machine, bikes. I mean, whatever. There's a golf thing that you could go in there. Do, there's they, a do they have lockers for you? Yeah, showers, everything. Wow. You can go in at 14 people at a time. You go in on a two-hour clip, and you have to make reservation. That's the only thing. But if it wasn't, if there wasn't the COVID, they'd take more than 15 or 14 at a time, right? Hmm. What? If there wasn't COVID, they'd be taking more than 14 at a time. No, but they wouldn't have built it. Yeah. Uh, it's well, not because I, we're trying to figure out if they built it because it was harder to rent out office space. And I think both. Point. I think a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's a lot of empties in our off, in our building, and they're just beginning to come back. Wow. That's I have friends that are you know going back into the office slowly, and what they're saying is they have to stay in their cubicles or in their office, and then when they have meetings, they do their meetings on Zoom. So what's the point of being in what's a freaking the point? office? Exactly. <laughs> Well, I think I, 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 there is something I think it, about people coming into work that makes bosses feel more like bosses. Mm. You know what I'm saying? In other words, mm -hmm. when people don't come into work, they don't feel that they have the power that they've been given. And so right, they can't I, harass women if they're the women are at their home. <laughs> well, it looks like a saint now. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess uh, saying nice tits is off off the uh, grid now. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get all these because I don't want to say these things to Marjorie because then she'll turn me in and <laughs> he threw me. But uh, no, it's 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 uh, it's interesting. It's really interesting. I think I think they've done a, a, a and to me it sounds like it's it's not just a crappy little gym. It's a it's a full. No, they have a whole room if you want to have a conference down there, like fifty people. They have a room with sofas and lounge chairs just to go down and chill. They have chill rooms. I mean, they have they have room if you just want to go down and eat your lunch in a nice place other than your desk. So they have a break room is what they have. Yeah. Basically down there. Wow, that's nice. It's, it's, it's very nice. Do they let nice. you order dildos from your Alexa in there? <laughs> I took the tour this morning. Yeah, that's why you went into it. Because I woke up and you weren't here, and I said, "It's Monday. What's she doing?" And I looked. Um, I found you on the find your friend. You since you're you know my closest friend, you're the only friend that I have in there. You use that find my friend. I'd use the my find my friend for Shecky, but it'd always be in the same place. <laughs> so you know. Uh, well, sure, Shecky. Uh, you know, you you're pretty much a homebody, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was before. Once the show went off the air. Yeah, yeah. But do you miss that continuity in your life of going to work every day? Yes. Yeah, I do too. But I don't want to work elsewhere other than Letterman, and now he's not on the air anymore. So. Right. Right. Uh, but I mean, it, it, you know, it, it, I found that the thing I miss most about Sirius. XM was just going in there and sitting in a studio and doing my show, which probably during all of this, I wouldn't have been doing anyway. I probably You'd be doing it from where you're sitting right now. Exactly. exactly. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, it's, uh, uh, but it's, I think I wonder if a lot of other people who during COVID found they weren't going to work, they were doing everything by Zoom and so on, are kind of missing that. You know, that structure that going to work gives you. Mm -hmm. I like working from home. Yeah. Because she doesn't, because I find you always <laughs> watching Miss MPC from the couch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, I think I'll go to work now. And she comes in here, she types a few, few things on the uh, keyboard, and then goes back in and watches Miss MPC. So. <laughs> you know. Uh, but it, it, it's changed. It's changed all the patterns, you know, that people have going for it. Uh, you know. And yeah, but just think back in the 30s and 40s, people wore a suit to work. They wore a hat. They wore a hat. Over time. Sure. Yeah, you watch old film of people walking down Broadway. Wearing a hat. Every man is wearing a hat. Every yeah. man. Yeah. 
Now, I wear a baseball cap. That probably counts as a hat. But no, I'm, not, not in the story. 30s and 40s. Well, no. I was talking the other day about how when we used to get on airplanes, we used to get dressed up. Why? Yeah. Now well, you when you went to a movie theater, you had yeah. a jacket and tie on. Taking a train from Philadelphia to New York, we wore gloves. Wow. Yeah. My dad yeah. used to fly from uh, Allentown, Pennsylvania to Pittsburgh to do some work stuff. And he was presented with a full meal, you know, and drinking two bottles of, you know, drinks or whatever on a what? It's got to be, can't be a 40 minute flight, right? My <laughs> I went on a 40 minute, I remember this. I went on a 40 minute flight once. And because it was a major airline going from San Francisco to LA, and because it was dinner time, they did a dinner service. Yeah. Isn't that and something? it was the fastest thing I've ever seen. Can you hurry up eating? Can you eat some more? <laughs> Take it away. We're landing in 10 minutes. Can you finish? We got to circle the airport till you're done eating. <laughs> they, were, as as you the air, they were out there with the trays passing them out. Yeah. The 40 minute dinner on a plane. But they don't do that anymore. Yes, yeah. darling. Yeah. Do you remember the Lucy episode when she's on the plane with the fake baby shack? You remember she was feeding it? No. Um, no. But it wasn't really a baby. I think it was like cheese or something. I remember. She was trying to smuggle it back in. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a Lucy episode. Yeah. Yeah. I missed that. Probably coming back from Italy. Yeah, I think yeah, it was a long one. Yeah, they were doing something. Yeah. Let me ask you that. Was Lucy ever a favorite show of any of you? I liked it. I used to watch it with my mother. I couldn't I can't figure it. out. The, 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 I liked it. Well, you liked it, but. It was, I liked it, but I, if I it, had a choice, that's not the show I'd be watching. It, 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 today, we can say we don't like it. Back then, when you didn't have much of a choice, you only had three other, two other channels. It was the best thing on. Yes. And you yeah, know, I like the show, but I don't think I'd be, once we get off the air here, running down and getting my copy of it to go watch one of the episodes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been watching a lot of old Benny shows the last couple of days. Uh -huh, yeah. And they were pretty good. They were, they were not after you got past around 58. But yeah, I agree with you. But it. Uh, and the live shows were better than the ones he did on film. Well, he did two kinds of shows. Did he, was it every other show he did live, every other show he did filmed or? Well, eventually. The first couple of years were all live, and then it sort of went A and B. Yeah, but the film shows were more sitcom. You know, Jack goes to the supermarket. Jack goes oh, okay. to you know. Yeah, well, you know what? Also, I, I was mentioning this to Marjorie last night about about him. The shows that were on film were more kind of like the radio shows were. They were more like you would have Jack goes to the grocery store and the radio show. Yeah. You would have Jack goes to right. The other ones were. I'm not going to call them variety shows but it was more well, when he went to come teeth. out do a monologue yeah. then we're going to have a little skit and well when when he went to tv uh the live shows were more kind of a variety show that's and what i'm saying yeah the film shows were more like the old radio shows yeah in their in their structure you know yeah but he also couldn't afford the radio cast so you just kind of get Benny Rubin or Mel Blanc, and that's about it. So you don't get Bill Harris. You don't get Dennis Day. Mary was not working at that point. Well, the, the one I watched uh, yeah. last night, I think it was, was not only uh, Mary Livingston, but their daughter. Wow. Oh, the one with Joan Benny. That's from 54. Yeah, yeah. And that was uh, uh, a Jack Benny thing. What would it be like if I married Mary? Right, okay. and then uh, he come. She comes home. I'd be a here. very henpecked man because she's a piece of you know what. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well, I told Marjorie. And no one, and no one except Jack liked. I told uh, uh, Marjorie last night. She was an alcoholic. Really? I don't know if she was an alcoholic, but she was not very well liked in Hollywood. But they put up with her because she was Jack's wife. Wow. So George Burns loved Benny. He was. Oh, go read Gracie a love story. And he goes after Mary like nobody's business. Really? Really? But he loved Jack. Oh, best friend. 
best friend in the world. And that's yeah. why so, and that's why Gracie, he and Gracie put up with Mary. So obviously Gracie did not really like Mary. Gracie did not like Mary. No. Okay. So we got that one straight. In other words, what yeah. do you think? It, you know, you know, Gracie adopts two children. Guess what Joan does? I mean, Mary does two weeks later, adopts Joan. Oh, okay. So that wasn't their, their physical daughter. There. No, she was adopted from the same orphanage in, I think it's Indiana or Illinois, where all those people from vaudeville would get, I don't want to say get their children, <laughs> but where they would adopt their children. <laughs> oh, wow. so, so, she, so Benny adopted two children? No, George and Gracie adopted two. Jack adopted one. And you know, I was watching something and I suddenly realized this guy put his family on a lot. Groucho Marx had Melinda Marx on maybe three or four times on You Bet Your Life. Yeah. And then she tried to be a singer. She tried to have a hit record. But they all did. Ronnie Burns had one. You know, they, you know that after the Ricky Nelson thing. They all on those sitcoms, Shelley Fabre, yeah. Paul Peterson, you know, go down the list. Well, if you go back to the ben to the uh, Burns and Allen shows, uh, the R Ronnie Bennett, Ronnie, Ronnie. Well, Ronnie makes a record, and that was like five episodes. Oh, boy. I guess it started, the show started going downhill from there, right? No, that's one of the best seasons, but oh. that was like last, what part of the last 10 shows where everyone had really checked out. Yeah. Now, uh, it, it, they quit. Why? Because Gracie did not want to continue working. And she, of course, had the heart troubles. She, she had heart problems. That would kill yeah. her eventually. Yeah. yeah. And she was also five years, eight years older than she ever claimed she was. <laughs> oh, OK. Well, that's... She very conveniently used the San Francisco earthquake to hide the records. They supposedly burned up in the earthquake. Wait, her birth she, born, she was born in San Francisco? Yeah, 1895. But she always claimed it was 1904. Uh. <laughs> okay. And the birth records went up in the, um, whichever one of the buildings on Market Street housed all those records. And that, you was, know. that was 1906. Yeah. 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 So that she had to make it a couple of years before. <laughs> yeah. But no, she died at almost 70. So when you think of oh, poor Grace, she was only like 63. No, she was almost 70. Okay, so how, how much, taking in that she was lying about her age. How but much, that's what they all did. How much, not, younger, how much younger was George? George was younger. Considerably? I think George was 1898, maybe. Wow, really? Oh, okay. And that was another reason. Because in those days, as you know, the idea was the, the husband is supposed to be older than the wife. If we have any kids watching this, they don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> you know, like when we say somebody was born in 1898. Yeah, but you know, that's just... Was, and also, you know, people got married because they were in vaudeville and it was cheaper when you married your partner. George was six months younger. I just looked it up. Six months. Okay. Yeah. He, he was uh, January. She's July. She's July 95. What do they list with his birthday? The, um, J January of 96, 1896. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But no, the idea was when you were married, if you married your partner in vaudeville, it was cheaper to travel because you could share a room, you know, where we, if you weren't married, it would be scandalous to like, Stay in the same room. So did Laurel and Hardy get married, or how did that? Well, the, <laughs> they were never in Vaudeville. <laughs> that's, that's the reason I married Marjorie, because she's on this show. <laughs> <laughs> is she getting scale at least? Uh, no, no, not even a tip. Wow. Oh, there's probably a scale in the bathroom. <laughs> yes, yeah. just rechargeable batteries. Yeah. <laughs> we back on that again. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, I was talking. So Charlie was saying that uh, he, uh, you know, he what he does is he he coaches he, he what he umpires umpires Umpire, yeah. baseball softball games. That's why I don't hear from him anymore. Uh, he doesn't work on the ground. 
They've been working in the ground? Yeah. Wow. Well, you're making a living, right? Yeah, but I don't need that much money, but we can't get anybody else to cover the games. <laughs> wow. Well, tell them I, tell them I need you. Uh, but anyway, uh, you, but you're saying that you're worried about maybe, with, especially here in Texas, with the rise in, in COVID of, the, of, of doing your job, because even though it's outdoors and all of that. Yeah. You know, you, I'm not going to, not to knock them, but the ball, many of the ball players are yahoos. Yeah. <laughs> well, in this, in this case, it's softball. Okay, but many of them have not been vaccinated. Is it men's softball? Charlie's not going to stand there and go be vaccinated. Yeah, yeah I have no way of checking. Yeah, so. Is it men's softball or women's softball? It's both. It's, it, we have co ed, we have men's, we have women's teams. Now, in the co ed, how do the women do it against the guys? Well, it depends on the team. You know, I guess some, some women are out there, they're Olympic athletes, so they, they, can, they can play ball better than I can. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Some of them, you know, they forget to run when they hit the ball, if they hit the ball. <laughs> Some of them look a little fierce. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, here. Here comes Kevin. Uh, Anybody watching the Olympics at all? Or I am. She? I watch a little of it. I, like I have it. not seen a second of it. You know, Me neither. It's, it's, it's interesting no to watch some of these sports you never see. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah, yeah but then you got to find it on NBC or which of their other stations has I know. archery. Yeah, it's all I, like, I like watching archery. I admit it. I like yeah. watching sailing, but I have no idea where they are. And I'm not sure. Well, he time. also admitted to me that he, and I had to admit to him that I did the same thing, that he watches uh, Below Deck Mediterranean. I do yeah. too. Yeah. I love that show. <laughs> you watch the junk shop. What? The, the one where they get all the junk from the lockers. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, um, storage wars. No, yeah. I don't want no, the one in Las Vegas, whatever it's called. Alex no, I like Pawn Stars. I like Pawn Stars. Yeah. Yeah. I hate the guys on it, but I like Pawn, Pawn Stars. It's kind of like. It's kind of like uh, Antiques Roadshow yeah. for Yahoo's. Let's do uh, Antiques Roadshow, but let's not be so fancy about it. Let's, uh, let's uh, you know, get a bunch of rednecks in here with their stuff. <laughs> and it, it uh, I, I, I enjoy that show, you know. But I would never go into that place to try and get on something because they rip the shit off of people. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it, it really bothers me. Hello, Kevin. Hey, Alex. How you doing? Good, good. I took a shower today. <laughs> <laughs> you, you smell nice. Yeah, well, I do it just before I do the show with you guys. Uh, it's because because I know Marjorie is going to be here and she's going to sniff. And... <laughs> of course. Must be the high karate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, how, 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 did you take a shower today, Marjorie, when you went to work? No. no. Did you take one yesterday? Yes. Did you really? Yes. I don't remember you taking a shower. <laughs> oh, I did. Oh, she has to make an appointment with you? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I'll be using some water for the next 20 minutes, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, uh, but. I let's see. I took a shower. What else do I have to do? Well, that's all I have to do. Dinner, and that's it. Maybe you got to get the landlord to turn the hot water on. I always remember my parents when they lived in Brooklyn were always saying, you know, the damn landlord won't turn up the steam, you know, or won't whatever. And that that's like a whole thing, I guess, is that they well, they controlled your heat. We have a problem here. Uh, it's a very old house, part an apartment building. Uh, it's, it's because it's old, it hasn't been maintained, okay, as well as it should be. Not uh, by the Ghanaps, I don't it. Well, don't call them Ghanaps. They, <laughs> they, might, they might be watching. They might be watching. They've been yeah. with us, you know. Uh, but uh, uh, it, it, we're on the eighth floor, and hot water doesn't get up here. I believe huh. the hot water comes from the basement. Where the boiler is, 
and the cold water comes from the roof. Where the tanks are. Oh. Something like that. I, I don't know what the, the real reason is. So that I can get a lot of, I, I can get cold water up here, although the cold water is weak and the hot water is strong in the kitchen. Hmm. But it's weak in the bathroom. It's just, in the shower when you want it to There's be. no consistency to the water. Okay. Yeah. It's probably lead pipes, too. <laughs> oh, boy. Good. Well, I'm retarded enough as it is. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> uh, look, look at Tony right now. It looks like he's in the witness protection. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the light. <laughs> Sort of change his voice like roo, 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 roo. <laughs> it's the sunlight probably coming in right from from the thing. Yeah. You want to laugh, Alex? My brother and his girlfriend are down in Florida. Tony? Right wait, 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 your your wife is where? Your My wife? brother and his girlfriend are down in Florida right now. They just they're at the Magic Kingdom. Are they crazy? Yeah. Tony, you're on, but don't talk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Florida, the only place worse than Texas. <laughs> But there are places worse than Texas. Yeah, Florida. Florida, yeah. Florida That's crazy. Texas' new tourism slogan. At least we're not Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Come to Texas. We're not Florida. Come, come to Texas. Our governor's in a wheelchair. Uh, you know. But uh, Scott, how's that out in your neck of the woods? I'm in Plano. It's, it's fine. We, we just got back from a trip through the south, though, so I'm not feeling like I'm gonna be very safe for a while. We we stopped in you know, like uh, Mississippi and and Alabama and all kinds of crazy things. Yeah, and you you what went into restaurants and diners? And well, Charlie might know it, but we did find a Bucky's in east of Birmingham, Alabama. Wow, Bucky's. Okay. Uh, a Bucky's, yeah, he knows what a Bucky's is. Yes, so. sir. Been there many and, times. And Charlie, that was the most packed Bucky's I've ever seen in my life. I mean, wow. it was wall to wall people almost. Mm. What does Bucky's do that is so special? They. Yeah, that's my answer. <laughs> <laughs> they are the ultimate stopping on freeways for. Yeah, for uh, they're, like, they're like a Denny's more or like less. Like Bucky's or. That's what he's got. One, I see. Gas. Sounds like a good barbecue restaurant. <laughs> oh, they, they got yeah. everything there. It's like a it's like a mall along the highway for travelers. Wait a minute. Oh, like the Oasis called, or whatever. All Bucky's. Yeah. What are they trying to do? Confuse people with Stuckies? <laughs> right. Because Stuck. that's the other one I remember. Yeah. On the highway. Stuckies is back. I know the 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 heiress was bringing back the brand. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, the they're, road, they reopened the factory. They're making the pecan logs again, and they're starting to set up Stuckies again. You ever been to Stuckies, Marjorie? Never. No, nah, she's too snotty to go to a Stuckies. As you travel, it, be, it starts at the Waffle You're House. Traveling down south, you're always in a Stuckies. What yeah. kind of food? What kind of food? They were. It was a roadside thing, but they were famous for all their uh, yeah. candies. Pecan logs. When we pecan traveled log across the United most... States, Jackie, we just kind of had breakfast always at Burger King, right? <laughs> yeah, probably. Maybe Denny's. I can't remember. And and Shecky had a had a mission when we were driving across the country to stop at every Costco along the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, we only went to one. The one in Arizona. You go you go south, it's Waffle House and the Huddle House, which is yeah. gross. All those places. Oh boy. Yeah, but uh, but uh, I like I like going to regional Costco's because they have different foods just to take a look. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like yours in San Francisco had different salamis, let's say, than you could get at the New York one. Well, mm. also, it was very nice because anywhere you went, there was a Costco. When you went in, you felt like you were a member of a club where you had the oh, club, yeah. right? And you could just walk in and see all their stuff. Uh, I bought I bought a pair of sandals there, and I still have them. Wow. Yeah, they, they didn't fall apart. Did you get two or four? What? Sandals. Oh no, one one pair of sandals. Oh, you oh, mean, okay. they, well, no, that's the uh, that's the Costco adoption agency. Yeah. What about their adoption <laughs> agency? They, 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 uh, you can adopt a kid. The, the Costco adoption. It's actually called the Kirkland. 
adoption agency. <laughs> and but you have to buy two kids with tape together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just a really that, big kid. They come in bulk. Either yeah. that or they give you a, a like a 14-year-old kid and they give you a six-year-old kid and they're taped together. <laughs> you can mix and match. And that too. That too. Uh, I always I you 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 always buy Kirkland, don't you, Shecky? Not always. I always find the Kirkland brand is just as good as the brand sitting next well, to it. They have very high because those are the brands. You know, it's if you buy item. bacon, it's, it's, it's the Oscar item. Meyer bacon under the Kirkland name or one oh, of those yeah. things. It depends on the item. Well, depends on the item. Yeah. Very high yeah. standard. I found that, for instance, if you were to buy Kirkland tuna fish, and right next to it is Star Kiss, they probably have Star Kiss make the Kirkland. Or Bumblebee makes it, whatever. One of them yeah. makes it. For what, them. what about the Kirkland label condoms? Yeah. What about the condoms? <laughs> the Kirkland condoms for, for cheap fuckers. For cheap fuckers? <laughs> or a lot of fuckers. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, we, we went to Costco a couple of weeks ago, right, Marjorie? Yes. And it was like we forgot how the whole thing worked. Because we haven't been there in a year, been using Instacart to go over and get our stuff. They also replace things. Yeah, they so move stuff a lot. Not, yeah, they do that. Not as much as I thought, but during they a, did. There is, you can go over a week later after you've been there and they've like moved all the sodas over to the other side of the, the building. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that. Did they put a self check in? There is a self check in, I think. Mine has self check in. Check out now. Yeah, yeah, they had they had they put it in over here too, and it's much nicer, less pressure. What do you mean less pressure? I don't know. I go I go into the into the checkout stand. I feel pressurized. You know, the people behind you are sitting there pushing their carts, and they want to push you through. And yeah, then you got the the checker wants to, you know, do you want your hot dogs? Do you want this? Do you want that? And uh, I like going through the self check. You kind of just take your time. Nobody's there. It takes longer, I bet. Yeah, well, because then you also have to you fill your cart help. by yourself. And I don't you know. care. Yeah. You know, I'd rather not be pushed through because everybody's in a hurry there. In California, you can't buy uh, alcohol through self checkout. So. Yeah, that's true too. But I don't, I don't buy alcohol usually. Well, so. mine in Nassau doesn't sell alcohol. Oh, really? Well, in so they have the alcohol store is next door to it as a separate. Oh, store. That's a, that's oh yeah, a, package store. It's a New York right. too. Uh, well, the, the Stu Leonard's and Yonkers is that way too. Same way, yeah. When yeah. you go to yeah. Stu Leonard's and Yonkers, the liquor store is, you know, right. heading That's towards the park. In New York, you cannot have your liquor store in the same building. Uh, my, my wife moved here from as my the, wife. Yeah. Because I've my seen wife moved I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. I've seen Costco who are right next door in the same building, but next door yeah. they have the liquor store. Yeah, they yeah, call but it's like California, store, they? they have the liquor store in the inside the Costco. Yeah, my my wife moved here from Connecticut, and they couldn't sell anything anywhere. I think they had beer and wine till like eight o'clock, and that was it in the stores. But she came out here; she's standing in Target, going, "They have hard alcohol in Target. I can't believe it." Yeah, <laughs> and then they do wine tastings at Safeway. Yeah, <laughs> they have penises on Hulu now. <laughs> well, I have them on my shopping list. So I'll, well, there's you, it was a show. A special what? search for that. It was a very <laughs> interesting show called, they call it, some of the guy who actually spell ran, it right. ran, ran ABM. It's called Skin. And it was about a history of n n nudity in the movies. Hmm. Ah. It went all the way to the very back and first, the, you know, silent films and so on, it worked all the way up to the present. And how it, that because of the mores, it changes it. There's a fluctuation. It's a very interesting documentary, but they show a lot of penis, mm. a lot of <laughs> pubic hair, and a lot I'm of. At least history. one of us is interested on this call. But... <laughs> <laughs> we know, Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andrew. <laughs> no, but if you get to see it, it's not a bad documentary about movies. Um, but uh, let me see here. What else is new and wonderful? So the milkshake show. What? The milkshake. Oh, milkshake. Uh, 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 
candy milkshake. the Karen gun Gillen powder. thing. Yeah, milkshake gunpowder. Yeah, gunpowder milkshake. That's did you like that? Yeah, it was fun. You didn't like it? Yeah, it got a little much. I just liked it because it's a kick-ass woman's picture. It was fun. It was entertaining. Yeah. It's got it a lot of action. You know. Yeah. Karen, I hope they have a sequel because there's just so many questions left unanswered in that first one. Oh, there will be a sequel. <laughs> oh, but sure. that'll be malted milk, whatever, you know. <laughs> yeah, I want to know what kind of syrup or was egg, in that chair. Or egg cream, um, whatever the last part of the name of the show is. Yeah. That's right. It'll, it'll be phosphate. <laughs> yeah, yeah cherry phosphate, um, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> But it was, it was, uh, I thought it was, I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, what else did we watch? Oh, we watched, uh, what did we watch? We watched Pig, this thing with, uh, uh, what's his name? Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got all. I mean, it's got incredible ratings on Rotten Tomatoes, right? So we've it, watched a lot look, of stuff. That's gotten high rotten tomatoes and it was sucked. I mean, and this thing was just, it wasn't, it was bad. It just wasn't good. It's about and a what has Nicolas Cage movie. done in the last decade? <laughs> Go into debt. This was a comeback movie. Yeah, well, well, I don't think he came back. I don't think so. <laughs> it's about a guy who has a truffle pig and he gets be beaten up and Someone steals it. Beats him and steals the pig. It's John it's Wick with a pig instead of a cat. Oh, uh, you know what it is? It's uh, what was that movie with a pig? That'll do, pig. Babe? Babe. babe, babe. It's kind of babe, but a hard line, babe. I mean, it, they, 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 he goes to uh, uh, Portland and tries to find his pig, and he's like been living out in the wilderness forever. There and wasn't enough pig in it. <laughs> there wasn't enough pig in it. I wanted more pig. <laughs> Hardly ever did. Something not kosher about that. Ham, movie. but some more pig. Yeah, definitely needed more pig. Man, was there a yeah. scene where they show him bacon? Is this what you're looking for? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, that's, uh, that's the other movie we watch. I, I figure you'd prefer kosher movies, Alex. So that's what we get. There's something coming out I really am looking forward to on, uh, on uh, HBO Max Suicide Squad. Well, I'm going to watch that. James yeah. Gunn, who did Guardians of the Galaxy, did this, and it looks to be very good. So that I'm looking forward to. Anything you're looking forward to, Shaggy? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been watching lately? You're asking me? Yeah. Um, below Deck. The new season of Black Sunday, which I didn't even know they, they had run. Yeah. Um, the soccer show, Ted Lasso, which we talked about. And it's like, I, I couldn't get into that. Yeah, I'm not good. I couldn't get into it. It's 30 minutes. It's pleasant enough. But if it wasn't on television, I couldn't care less. I like The Prince. Has anybody seen The Prince? An animated cartoon on HBO Max. Ooh. about the royal family mm. and it is so absolutely what can i call harsh <laughs> to say <laughs> the least uh in one episode prince philip is still alive but he's drooling vomiting uh <laughs> everything else and finally in one of the episodes he's dead Ooh. so they take him in and they shock him with this electric machine and he comes back to life and all he wants to watch is the big bang theory <laughs> you know, uh, and, and it's very fun. Uh, and there was a musical number towards the end of one of these episodes, and they're only like 15 minutes each. Oh, so they're really easy to take. And uh, it's I, I think it's pretty, pretty inspired, but absolutely tasteless if you consider since they did it, Prince Philip has died. Oh, yeah. You know. He was 99. Yeah. You're not expecting not, it? Yeah. But, Boy, we're shocked. And, and the only one who swears in the whole show is the queen. Every other word out of her mouth is fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck. Well, if you had that family, what else would you say? Oh, yeah. and, and then there's uh, there's Harry and the Megan uh, living in uh, Hollywood. And he can't get used to the real world. Like he goes to the grocery store. He says, you know, they have places where there's food on shelves. 
you know, <laughs> and uh, that it, that gets pretty fun. Uh, and uh, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I I think it's a good show. Get a chance to watch it. But what do I know? I like <laughs> gunpowder cocktail or whatever they should. Gunpowder <laughs> milkshake. Okay. But uh, anyway. could you? I'd like to be in the meeting where they came up with that title. Well, I like Karen Gill. Okay. I think she's good in anything. You know? Fine. That's still not worth two hours of my life. <laughs> well, at this point, nothing's worth two hours of your life or mine. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine Marjorie spending the rest of her life watching MSNBC? <laughs> Well, maybe she should have taped all 7,000 hours of the Olympics. She can go for years on that. Yeah, yeah. I'm watching the Olympics, and then comes U.S. Open. So I'll talk to you in September. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, she'll be talking to me in September, too. So. <laughs> but she, no, she, uh, she, loves her, she loves her little sporty thing. So she I do. Her. I do like watching sports. And she said, last night, she says to me, come on, I want to watch the Olympics. Come on, watch it with me. Yeah, but the Olympics, it's two minutes of sports and 20 minutes of these announcers pontificating. Oh, and, and, another, and, another and now we'll have another commercial. Yeah, we'll commercial. we come the Commercials are horrible. You know, do you remember the triple play back around 88 Olympics? I think that was the year they did it. Yeah. Where you paid like 50 bucks and you got, well, let's say, archery. And you got the entire match. That's mm. what I. Would. Yeah, but what what ha- what happens with uh, with Peacock? If I subscribe to the non-commercial Peacock, will I get the? No, I don't believe so. I don't think it'll so. still have commercials even in the uh, in the in the. What I've the- what I've heard is they have black slugs during the commercial breaks because they don't have commercials. Oh. oh, okay, but what I'm saying is like on the stuff where you're looking at a rerun of a particular sport. I've, been, I've read it's days later. Oh, I could see the um, on NBC, the different NBC channels. I could see relays within a couple hours. They yeah. put them up there. Yeah. You know, but again, that idea of you want to watch basketball, you got to get Peacock Plus and give us 10 bucks. Oh, mm. thank you. Yeah. I got rid of Peacock Plus. I had it for a little while, and then I got Paramount Plus, and I like that much better. We never watched Peacock. No, we never did. Yeah, so but, but they're trying to force you to buy it because of the Olympics, and that ain't a good reason to buy it. Yeah, I mean, you know, oh, maybe maybe Jimmy Fallon. Okay, yeah, it's a good reason to buy it. Well, YouTube TV lets me record Plus. everything. What? I said, YouTube TV lets me record everything. You know, I've got like hundreds of Olympic events recorded that I can watch. Yeah, but you have YouTube TV, which is that yeah. $60 a month service or something. And so you've cut, yeah. you've cut the cord is what you've done. Yeah. yeah. But then you can go to um, the British feed of the Olympics if I really cared and watch it that way. No commercials. They're going to give you your events and it's going to run all day. Yeah, but how do you do that? <clears throat> there are ways. I know. <laughs> Everybody who wonders, why should I have VPN? Well, yeah. that's the reason why. why have VPN. <laughs> you know, it's the BBC feeds. The presenters, so to speak, aren't, you know, what is it, Savannah Guthrie, who's talking to a crowd that's not there, apparently, during the opening ceremonies. <laughs> well, I wondered when I saw these guys coming out during the initial parade of the country, who who were they waving at? No, and then she's you. talking to a non-existent crowd, apparently, because yeah. I didn't watch it. Yeah, but I mean, well, who? It's not. And did you notice that in this big stadium, they painted all the different chairs different colors, so it yep. looked like there are people in there. Yep. Yeah. Um, Talk about yeah. Well, you know, tomorrow's NBC's big um, ratings boon. What? Simone Biles is going to be in the easiest competition of the gymnastics tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. which one is that? Balance the balance beam. balance beam. The uh, the I lost my balance balance beam. 
Yeah, I'm in the yeah, tiddly wings competition. Well, I'm, I'm sorry that she didn't get to compete because she was looking very good in the stuff that they were showing of her in practice. No, she wasn't. Well, again, now I'm not, I'm not saying anything against what they were showing you. Okay. Oh, we're going to show you her falling on her face. I don't think mm -hmm. so. Yeah. I mean, she's our rating that. magnet. We're going to show you screwing up. Well, no. at, her, at her best, she defied gravity. I mean, she was amazing. No. So were many of the other women. Yeah, yeah. And well, I'm not not a no, I'm not knocking her, but you I know. think I think had she had they not had been able to do it last year, she would have done okay. Yeah, yeah. Is, is a lot in that. Space. But it's also when you have NBC and your agents, you know, trying to set her up as the greatest thing in the world. Right. It's no, a lot of pressure on a young lady. There's a lot of pressure. Wondering, lot if Mike, of pressure. wondering if Michael Che will be tossed off SNL. He was, he was making Simone Biles jokes and he took down his whole Instagram. Oh, and shoot. And he, took that, he took it all down. Um, but he's going to be canceled. Uh, really? Yeah. No, they'll forget about it by <laughs> October. What did Michael Che do this time? He, had, he said about bile something. Yeah, he made a bunch of jokes. I didn't know what they were. About her on his Instagram. I mean, who cares? Who cares? He's a comedian. You know, it's ridiculous. Well, you're not so allowed. Be funny. You're not, what we're saying is, you're not allowed to be a comedian anymore. Right, you're not allowed to. You just it's just off limits. Oh boy. Yeah, well, you well, can't make jokes about anybody. But you know, well, okay, yeah, fine. Hey, listen, uh, we've uh, we've kind of run out of time here. Oh, yeah. I, well, I love you guys. And my wife as well. I love my wife. Okay. And the guy who's in the witness protection program. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tony. Tony's in, and, the and in the White House. Program. <laughs> <laughs> Did he shut up enough for you? Hey, Berger didn't say anything, so... Well, I told him who was in that movie. <laughs> well, see, Berger never says anything, but when he does... Yeah, it's important. I only say important things. <laughs> yeah, but you could have told us what you ordered at Ben's Deli the other day. Yeah, you I was know? there. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's yeah. been spying on me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got your Facebook page. Oh, um, okay. Oh, oh, that's how you know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not doing a find me on my your iPhone. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> As I say, it'd be great doing a cartoon voice, and he yeah, yeah, yeah. playing a cartoon character we already know. That's right. Mm -hmm. Saying goodbye. Well, why you're leaving us? So I'm yeah. leaving them. <laughs> it's yeah. after five. What? It's after five. What's for dinner? You're on your own. I see. <laughs> oh, what did I get married for? I've uh, heard <laughs> you know, we thought it like that one of those houses for once that I saw on television when I was growing up where you go, honey, I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> comes out in an apron. In an apron and a dress. With your slippers and a cocktail. And pearls. And pearls. <laughs> yes. And, and we'll leave it to Beaver. Jimmy and Janie, you know. <laughs> Ward, I'm worried about the beaver. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Ward and Ward looked back and said, "Yeah, it's been smelling kind of bad lately." <laughs> oh, Ward, you're oh. a little tough on the beaver last night. Yeah. yeah, a little rough on the beaver. Yeah. I'm worried about the beaver. It's time to end the show. We're talking about smelly beavers. Hey, oh. Steve, thank you. Appreciate it. Is he still there? Oh. Or is he frozen? Oh, Steve Bender. Yeah, you're there. Oh, I got you. <laughs> Whoa. Steve Ber Edward Berger, thank you so much. Now coming with carpeted floor mats. <laughs> 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 For today only. <laughs> he talked. Uh, Charlie Wallace, thank you. Thank you, Len LaFrisco and Andrew Deutsch and my old friend Rick Sheckman. Uh, Jeff Stein up there in Connecticut. Thank you. Uh, and uh, Scott Boddicker is back home now in Plano, Texas. Uh, and to, of course, uh, our, our member of the panel who is in witness protection. <laughs> I, just don't, I just don't know it. <laughs> uh, don't talk, Tony. They'll know who you are. <laughs>
Uh, <laughs> Don't light a cigarette. <laughs> Marjorie Miller, thank you. Say hello to your husband for me. And uh, to Kevin, uh, good seeing you too, Kevin. Always a pleasure. Every one of you give a big wave goodbye. Mm -hmm. and wave goodbye uh, too. And I understand this whole thing. Have, have a good time. <laughs> thank you, Alex.